30, ABC6 investigates your water. A watchdog group claims there's something dangerous in it. We'll find out if they're all wet. Well, coming up, how safe is the water you drink? A new study says it could cause cancer. So this one is Columbus drinking water. Okay. This one is Marion drinking water. And this one is good old bottled water. Okay. Now we're putting some samples to the test right after the break. What you need to know to keep your family healthy. Now, ABC6 News at 5 on your side. Based on your research, what level is an unsafe level? That's a great question. We, we don't, we didn't draw a bright line here. Can your water cause cancer? Tonight, tough questions about a study that finds 75% of tap water could be unsafe. We want to know for ourselves, so we're putting our water to the test. Now, investigator Brooks Jarose is on your side with what you need to know about a heavy metal called chromium-6. Brooks? Well, it's a chemical known at high levels to cause cancer in lab rats. An environmental group took federal studies and compiled the amounts in our drinking water. And Columbus ranks number nine. But across Ohio, traces of the chemical were found, which has us checking again. We're off to the lab with three bottles of water. So this one is Columbus drinking water. Okay. This one is Marion drinking water. And this one is good old bottled water. Okay. Lab analyst Aaron Holman is helping us test for chromium-6, a hazardous chemical known to cause cancer. So this is really all the sample we end up using. Alloway Labs was part of a federal study cited by activists at the Environmental Working Group. Based on your research, what level is an unsafe level? That's a great question. We, we don't... We didn't draw a bright line here. Dr. David Andrews co-authored the research. He says Ohio has a high enough level of chromium-6 to be considered unsafe. It's not the level where you run out and turn off your water and stop drinking water and only drink bottled water. We don't think that's the solution here. Instead, the group wants the federal EPA to take action. Right now, the chemical isn't even regulated, except in California. And the levels found here are less than half of California's legal limit. If there's hexavalent chromium present, we'll get a peak. Which is why we're testing the water now and getting a second opinion. And with new technology, it's now easier to detect what's in the water. Should people be afraid to drink it? Um, it would depend on what levels. At the end of the day, you want safe drinking water for all Americans, and we want a federal government that's empowered to utilize modern science to, to update its, its drinking water standards. And we did find out water filters like those in a Brita or a Pure Pitcher will not work to filter chromium-6. Now you can look for special filters that are certified to remove that chemical. One of them is called a Zero Pitcher. Or you can consider getting a reverse osmosis filter for your home. They do cost about $200. We'll let you know when our water results come back and keep you updated. I'm Brooks DeRose, Six on Your Side Investigates. Great, thank you, Brooks. You may be wondering why the EPA has no standard for chromium-6 in water. On the agency's website, it says that a standard was set in 1991 based on science at the time that the element could cause a skin rash. But the agency is now reviewing some data from a 2008 study which suggests it can be a carcinogen. That's if ingested, of course. So when the review is complete, the EPA will consider revising standards.